Oh my goodness. Oh. oh my goodness. You want to adopt a nest again next year? I definitely want to adopt a nest next year. You guys, take care of the animals and the nature and don't litter. Like, take care of our world. So Nana, what happened? Sunny, she found the lizard and she tried to bite it and she put her paw on it. No. And she put like her, one of her, um, she bit like the she, little... She put her tooth on it? Yeah. As you can see, it's kind of cut right there. Oh, poor little thing. So right now I'm trying to... So you're trying to save it? Yeah. Hey, little buddy. You'll be okay? What are you gonna do with him? I don't know. I hope everything works out okay. Well, I think he appreciates your help. There. Okay. Good job. Thank you. No, thank you. Hey, Sunshine Nation, so today's really exciting. We adopted a turtle nest. I just found our nest. And it says my name on it. Oh my gosh, I am going to cry. That's my turtle nest. There it is. Oh. I feel like I just kind of want to um, sit here and babysit it. And just watch it. Make sure nobody harms it. There's so many nests along here. I just want to take care of it. I feel like very proud and happy. I didn't know where it was. It went on a hunt. Hey, Sunshine Nation. I went to visit our turtle nest. I happened to see some people from the turtle patrol there and they came over and looked at it. They said, why don't you rake the pathway to be like a ramp for them because there's like a big ledge where the waves have been crashing right below the, the turtle nest and there's a bunch of seaweed. So we are headed out right now to make the pathway a little easier for the precious little turtles. Out of how many millions of turtles or thousands of turtles, whatever, there's a certain percentage are eaten by crabs or birds, it's the saddest thing. So Jordan, Mariah, Juliana, Jaden, and me and Abe are off to help our turtle nest. So you guys, turtles don't do well with regular light here. They have special lights that they create just for around beaches so that turtles aren't bothered by it. So because they follow the light to find their home and they, find their direction and all that. They do. Sometimes they won't come back to that spot if the, if the light's not right. We're gonna have lights off as much as we can to try to not bother what's going on here. Let's go, we're gonna... That's good. Guys, think of like being like so close to the ground that you couldn't see anything and then there'd be like a little bump. The markings of crab markings running around here trying to get those baby turtles. They hatch within 45 to 60 days. At 45 days, we put this green ribbon at the back of the stake. That means the turtle patrol gets out and checks it on foot every day until it emerges. It emerges during the middle of the night. That's why nobody can call you when it's emerging. We see the evidence the next morning. They move the dune stake out of the dune to mark where they say it emerged from. So that's where we're gonna dig. We give it three days to emerge naturally on its own and then we can dig it up and take the count. So we're gonna dig up now and see what's in there and there might be live babies, you never know. We saw a little hole on the side there, a crab, and we saw a crab go in there, so we... Yeah, unfortunately they do like to go in there. Most of the time they're not too much trouble. The turtle comes up and digs this hole with just a rear flipper, which is kind of amazing. Oh, there we have it. Will those still hatch or are they done? Yeah, it's possible. Look at the cute ones. 
Yeah, they're kind of leathery ping pong balls because they've got to survive the drop. But him touching them won't bother him. No, uh, but it doesn't affect the hatching of the egg. We have to be super gentle and uh, place them yeah. back in the room and find them. Can you put them right back in this nest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good look right there. You guys adopted a nest before? No. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. That's how I started, was adopting a nest. Oh, yeah. I hatched on my birthday and I was hooked, so. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Mike has been doing this for, what, 11 years, Mike? Mm. Doesn't look like any live ones today. Usually if we find live ones there at the top on their way out. Yeah. That looks like everybody got out and made their way. So that looks like it. You can see how deep that hole is. See how deep that is. Yeah. That's how deep, That's how deep she is. dug with her rear flipper. Wow. What will you do with all those shells? Toss them back in. I'm going to count them now and then we're going to report to the county what the results were of the nest. It's old. 74 hatched. Wow. There's usually about 100 eggs in there. That one's kind of damaged. Aww. Let's, let's call this a pip dead. They say, they say you can get salmonella from touching these, so you, yeah. that's one reason we wear gloves. Let's say nine hole. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't see any crab activity. Is this where you filled up the crab hole? Uh, it was on this side a little bit. Pretty close to it. Maybe these will still come out, maybe they won't. They're on their own now. Each mama will lay more than one nest in a season. Oh. So this is probably, this is not her own, only. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. How is many eggs does she lay at the time? Each one is usually around 100. When they had to have to about 15 or 20 miles out the seaweed field, that's where they spend the first several years. That's why there's lighting restrictions. If they come out and they see lights up here, they head towards the light. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they'll head towards the horizon. A lot of them get eaten by big fish on the way right. out. They lose a lot of them. They say one out of a thousand make it to adulthood. Adulthood is about age 25 when they can they can lay. And scientists say they will come back to the same beach. If they were laid here, they'll come back to the same beach, lay their nests in 25 years. 25 years. We usually average about 300 nests on this stretch. This year we're up to 470 already. 470? Oh, is that because we've been protecting them better? Um, it could be that the nesting season started early. We don't know why that started. Some think that it could be that we're uh, due for a, a huge hurricane season. The Turtle Patrol was so sweet to let us go watch another one. We adopted the first nest. This one we did not adopt, but it has also emerged. So let's see how many baby turtles made it out on this one. Do you guys see a difference between this nest and the other one? Yeah. yeah. This is all the sand that she put up here. Oh, oh wow. It's a different type of turtle. It's a green turtle. You can tell because of how she dug it? Uh, partly that. Their tracks are different. Longer heads, they crawl like this. Mm -hmm. Greens do the... Like this. So go oh, wow. Okay. One right there, guys. Yeah. That one? She's got a baby. <gasps> Did she get away from you? Oh my goodness! Hi, baby. See how fast oh. they go to the sun, to the light. We will release him when we're done. So we'll take her down to the water. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying to get out. <gasps> oh, here's me. Oh. My gosh. They're raring to go too. They are energetic. Oh, I've got chills. I'm going to cry. Yeah, walk them <laughs> well, that one's right bigger than the other one. Right? Oh, they're, they're no, doing look, great. They'll, we can release them. They look guys. like they're ready to go. Yeah. yeah. They are. They're ready no to go. Trying to <laughs> <find them. laughs> oh, they, they'll go yeah. toward the sun. Okay. okay. You let them walk a little bit to set their GPS. Set their GPS. Correct. Yeah. Oh, and a straight path.
know. Look at him, Mariah. We are I could watch him forever. Oh my goodness. Snorkel gear. <laughs> I love this. I love living in this area. It's just quiet. Very, very lucky. Yeah, we are blessed. We asked that about you guys as babies too. <laughs> Why don't you just stop moving? A couple of them, you guys. There. Shell is a little bit different um, than the logger head, mm -hmm. and the, the flippers are longer, and they got the white around it. So yeah. The other ones don't. The logger heads the don't logger have the white. Don't. They're a little yeah, they like the more. Yeah. He's gonna count them now, guys. She said 95. Eight. So you just do more shallow to help them out? Yeah, just less effort. A little warmer. Don't walk, Jaden. Don't walk, okay? Can you wash back probably a little bit? are so wonderful. This was a great experience for us adopting. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for doing it. They just started a new Facebook page, Turtle Patrol Volusia. Okay. Turtle Patrol check Volusia. Check Go Facebook. check that out on Facebook. Okay. Sometimes when they do uh, like turtle releases from mm -hmm. the Marine Science Center, those are often yeah, on there so you oh, can know good. when they're going to uh, release mamas that have been rehabbed. Or, you know. How many years have you been volunteering? This is my second. There's yeah. a lot of training involved and we learn not just about sea turtles but about uh, migratory birds and the birds that nest on our beaches because a lot of them are also protected. Thank you again. Uh, you're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you guys for volunteering. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Pray you'll make it. God bless you, little turtle. Live a long life. How was your experience? Fine. It, it was good. Crazy. It was great. Yeah? What, what touched you the most? Seeing that the volunteers were able to save those turtles. I love the relief. It felt cool. Really cool. The turtles really seemed cool. happy. I learned didn't a little know. bit about how they dig the holes and uh, where they go after they're done. I'm still or where the babies go. How does the mom dig? She uses her flippers. 
I'm gonna show a video of the little crab and he was digging out a little hole. He goes all the way down there, spits out a little piece, goes all the way down. It's funny watching him waddle into the water. When they're in that bucket, the they kept the tipping way. over so they kept trying to like, get up but like they couldn't until like they had to like put their whole weight on their side to like get up. Yeah, you watched how they did that, huh? They're like, ah, I'm on my back. When they were just like paddling and they got under the blanket. And oh, so yeah. They were just trying to paddle. Crazy to me that babies can't walk for like um, a couple months, but then turtles, they just come out of the hole and then they start running. Why can't well, we do that? <laughs> you want to adopt a nest again next year? I definitely want to adopt a nest next year. I really want to adopt a nest next year. I definitely want to adopt a nest next year. <laughs> I think it'll be really exciting to adopt a nest next year. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tongue twister. And anytime you can see like a baby turtle get born, and like just see how they act and to see them going out to, to see and just to kind of learn about things. We do a lot of this stuff just because we want to give them the best shot possible to get out there so we can have more sea turtles and continue to have them out there. So I love sea turtles. It was awesome. Me too. As I sat there, I watched that last final wave take him away. Of course, I'm thinking about my boys. Jackson and Tyson, who they've been like, just off into the world. And you see that ocean, and both of our boys are out in the ocean on islands, or Tyson's almost on his island. They're just off to the world, off like facing whatever might come. I mean, they're gonna face sharks and big fish and all kinds of scary things out there. And I just hope the best for those little baby turtles. It's a special thing to, to witness. So thanks for joining us. And it's crazy how they get stuck in the sand and then they try their way out to go to the beach. It's a tough life out there. When you think it's tough out there, just think about the baby turtles. I wonder okay. how like um, they remember like where they were born. It's like we're babies, and then when we turn 25, we don't like go back and like have babies. <laughs> you going back to Detroit? <laughs> what? <laughs> Donate to the Turtle Patrol. You guys, take care of the animals and the nature and wow. don't litter. Like, take care of our world. We have a beautiful world we live in. Take care of the wild. And remember, to spread the sunshine. Again.